I got my new toolbox. Dropped it off today. Um, figured I'd go through it. So, uh, this is my junk drawer. It's got odds and ends. Different caps. People throw these away, but they're actually really useful. Um, plug in power steering hoses or core hoses. Uh, different nozzles for my bug gun. Brake pad depth gauge, or brake, brake pad gauge, uh, tubing cutter. Um, just different things like that. Got a bunch of old uh, copper washers for brake banjo bolts, razor blades, things like that. Got this box. I was running out of room in my old box. As you can see, there's still empty drawers in this one. Um, I'll be filling up pretty quick. Uh, I got the Epic with a power drawer. So, um, basically, yeah, there's my old DeWalt stuff. The longest time I'd swear by DeWalt, wouldn't get any snap on stuff because I used to hate snap on electrical stuff, but uh, they've actually come a long way. Uh, they've gotten a lot better. So, this is basically the drawer for things I don't use as much. Um, got a drill and a little quarter inch bit driver impact, uh, sawzall, quarter inch and three-eighths air ratchets, and the chargers, and still empty drawers, main socket drawer, um, I've got kind of a mixed match of everything, Craftsman, Snap-on, uh, Matco. So, uh, back in the back is all my three quarter stuff 19 millimeter up to 50 millimeter. Um, and then, of course, you got the axle and the sockets uh, and the set of deep well, the snap on deep well, 3 8 standard sockets. Um, I don't know what that's for. Uh, and then over here, We've got these shallow impact sockets, uh, six point metric half inch, uh, three eight, or three quarter extensions of the breaker bar that also works as a T-handle and the ratchet. Uh, this is just kind of mismatch, whatever. This in the front's all shallow chrome, um, standard half inch sockets. Uh, back in the back, I've got some eight point that goes like three eighths and half inch. In the center here are spark plug sockets. Uh, I don't use those as much. I have the magnetic set from Macro. Uh, and then just a couple extra. Here is 3 8 shallow and deep well um, chrome standard sockets. They're just Craftsman. Uh, Pittsburgh um, crow's feet standard. Um, and then we've got the long Allen heads uh, with the ball adapters um, in the standard and metric. So, stuff like that if you've never seen them, I guess. But yeah, red standard, black metric, and then the long reach Torx. So, right in front of those, we've got some more of the eight point. Um, these are 3 8 sockets. Just Random Allens, uh, another random socket, 12 millimeter, six point. Deep well, 12 point, uh, standard chrome sockets, uh, quarter inch drive, Craftsman. <coughs> These are Craftsman half inch drive deep wells, goes from an inch down to half inch. Um, and then these are Napa brand uh, half inch swivels. Those from 19 down to 13. Uh, they're just the shallows. Right behind them is the standard and metric um, 3 8 drive shallow uh, six point impacts from Metco. Um, miscellaneous bits. The rounded lug nut removal sockets. Twist sockets, I guess you can call them. We've got the basically turbo socket on one side and then the regular um, socket on the other. 
that's a pretty nice set. I used to use it all the time at the dealer, taking the uh, wheel locks off. Um, right behind it is a set of 3S drive shallow um, standard sockets. They're from Snap On, quarter inch up to uh, 7 eighths. Um, here is the power steering pulley puller set from Snap On. Um, got all three of them. They have a fourth one I need to get still. Um, quarter inch extensions, uh, all Snap On inch up to I think 10 or 12 inches, whatever this one is. Yeah, 10 inch. Uh, random half inch extensions. Um, these are the 12 point quarter inch 12 point sockets. Uh, deep wells from Snap On goes from 5 millimeter up to 14 mil. Um, the swollen lug nut sockets. Uh, this is 19 and a half and 18 and a half. Um, I've got the other ones up here in the front. We'll get to those here in a minute. Uh, different ratchets and stuff. Uh, miscellaneous extensions that didn't come in a kit. Uh, Pittsburgh Impact um, half inch drive. Snap on uh, quarter inch drive black ratchet. Um, snap on three inch drive bent handle ratchet with a flex head. Um, a couple more like Craftsman quarter inch ratchet and uh, Craftsman quarter inch breaker bar. Back in the back is all 12 point stuff. Um, you got half inch shallow 12 point standard, uh, 3 8 standard shallows, uh, 3 8 metric shallows, and half inch metric or half inch metric shallows. Um, in the front, we've got 3 8 uh, 12 point deep well uh, metric sockets. Um, I actually have two sets of those, I don't know why. Uh, snap on 3 8 drive low profile ratchet set and the quarter inch low profile metric uh, ratchet set. Um, this is like a five millimeter, maybe four or five. Yeah, that might be a bit driver too. I don't remember, but yeah, and then the front. Uh, more swollen lug nuts. This is 27 and a half and 11 sixteenths. Um, they are two sided. Uh, this one is the 22 and a half and 22. Uh, just different craftsman stuff. It's 27 millimeter, uh, 12 point uh, deep well sockets. And here's some more of those the deep wells uh, right here in the front. And 21 and a half. And on the front is all my shallow um, half inch drive um, impacts and chromes. There's just different stuff in there. So. Down here, probably my favorite wrenches, my long Metco wrenches, uh, ratcheting the flex head on both sides. Um, These are this versus standard or metric, sorry, craftsman. Um, Carlisle adjustable wrench, brake disc tool, uh, little pocket screwdriver. Um, this is actually a whip for a slide hammer. Uh, wrap that rubber hose around it, and you can get more force onto it. Um, Torx drivers, standard Allen's T handles, metric T handle Allen's, and. Torx T handles. Uh, these are all from Metco. Craftsman nut driver standard metric. Um, small needle nose pliers, battery cable cutters, tin snips. This is that magnetic spark plug socket set from Metco. So it's got a bunch of different sizes in it. They'll work for Mercedes and Things like that. You can see they had a little magnet down there rather than the rubber boot. And the ones that are on extensions do swivel. 
uh, tread dip gauge, tractor trailer, and agricultural tractor oil filler pliers. Um, Craftsman Professional bit driver. All the bits and stuff to go with it. Vice grips. Uh, don't ever get the, the uh, Master Force vice grips. They're garbage. Um, more just Milwaukee miscellaneous bits. And back there, snap ring pliers. Top. Um, bigger inches goes from 35 millimeter up to 50 millimeter. Um, you can tell I don't use them much. OTC uh, lug nut cleaners, or not lug nut cleaners, basically it fits over the lug nut so you can clean the hub uh, around the lug nut. License plate bolts, uh, two packages of them, that goes from the dealership. Uh, bottle opener, blow gun with an adjustable nozzle. stuff half inch torque wrench quick type goes from I believe 50 foot pounds up to 250 foot pounds this is the pneumatic fan clutch tool uh, for the air hammer uh, just another half inch extension I can't use anymore because I beat on it but I use it for a punch uh, scissors uh, fuse pour Gloves that'll work with a parts washer, the diamond grip that I normally have. I don't have any now, I'm out of them. But the diamond grips like to swell and tear real easy. So, uh, sawzall bits or sawzall blades, sorry, more blades. Um, these are Craftsman that I found in a used car at one of the dealers, um, Milwaukee. Uh, battery protectors, or battery terminal protectors, uh, tire patching stuff. Empty for the information drawer, uh, die drawer, uh, it's kind of a mess. Um, back probes, these are the uh, pin fit um, terminal connectors. So instead of trying to back probe something, you can unplug a connector and put it right in and it fits just like the normal connector pin wheel. Um, Snap-ons, strippers and crimpers, and cutters I guess. Matco's little uh, spark tester. It's battery powered. You just touch it to the spark plug wire. And it doesn't glow very bright, but it glows enough to where you can tell if there's spark there. Um, still need to get the good set, but you know, Teflon tape. Uh, an old trailer controller that still works. Use it for testing. Uh, fluke multimeter. It's got, of course, two test leads, two standard pin type test leads. It's got two. Alligator clip style test leads, a thermometer, and all that fun stuff. Got a magnet you can hang it from a hood or wherever you're working. Um, snap on Ethos uh, scanner. So, got that a pretty good deal. Um, this is a black light with the glasses. It's actually blue and black. So, uh, power probe, light power probe three or four, whatever the hell number they're on. The snap-on um, test light with a voltmeter in it. Just missing these wires if I need to run a jumper. Uh, timing light, another black light. Runs off the battery, the car battery, timing light. So that's it for that drawer. Down the bottom, just carrying bags for if I have to go over to uh, you know, do some side work at the house or anywhere else. Got carry bags, throw tools in. Uh, face shield, got that from Matco. Um, those are really nice, especially when you're grinding on a bunch of stuff. Don't want it nasty getting in your face. Uh, ball bearings. Um, yeah, just, yeah. We have ducks or something that size to wander into the shop. Um, they usually get a ball bearing slingshotted at them. Just kind of let them know how to get out of here. Um, Ratchet strap, really good for holding transmissions up when you have the engine out of it. Little <coughs> stubby Phillips head screwdriver. <coughs> coffee. Peter Blaster, coffee folders. Uh, I found this in a car, I don't know what it's for. It was actually stuck to the oil filter still, so I'm guessing somebody couldn't get it off and screw it. Uh, forks and knives. 
another piece of vacuum line. Hat. Empty. Uh, don't ever buy this. It's the gear inch pickle fork set. That's you know, it's it's you can clock the pickle fork to whatever angle you want. It, they're junk. This one's busted actually. The threads got messed up, and now I can't get it out of there. That's the air hammer attachment and the regular hammer attachment. Pain in the ass, piss me off. Uh, low profile standard wrenches from Craftsman. Wishbone wrench uh, or half moon wrench, I guess you call it. Ignition wrenches. Um, Standard line wrenches, uh, Matco ratcheting wrenches goes from 7 sixteenths up to uh, or no, 3 eighths up to 3 quarter. Long picks, short picks, um, standard half inch wrenches. These are all craftsmen, I don't use them that often. So, uh, these go from quarter inch up to I think an inch and an eighth yeah an inch and an eighth they all come in one big set and then the double box end that are offset goes from one inch all the way down to quarter inch too gear wrench uh, spindle nut sockets for big trucks and four wheel drives 2500s and whatnot for your rear axles. There's a socket in there that'll fit that. Heat gun, heat gun attachments, empty space. OTC uh, ball joint press, snow brush. Underneath the snow brush is the junk serpentine belt tool. I need to get the good one from Cornwall. Uh, power strip, three plug adapter, four little bits and pieces for that serpentine belt tool, um, ice scraper, and a Maddox. Uh, basically, Harbor Freight's version of the Hub Shark. It's not very good, don't buy it. Down there in the white case is all of my junk, extra spare bolts and wire harnesses and things if I need to look for. Another like carry bag from DeWalt. Over here in my tool cart, we've got all my magnetic trays. Um, those things are lifesavers for anybody who doesn't believe in them, you probably should. Uh, Phillips head screwdrivers, pry bars. Uh, this is the long and the second longest that comes in snap on the set. Uh, more Phillips head screwdrivers over here. Back here, we've got all my metric sockets and the things I use all the time. So, three eighths. Uh, deep wall impacts, uh, they're off brand. I think I got them at the Andersons, which that store is no longer with us. Uh, deep well half inch drive um, impact swivels goes from 19 millimeter down to 10 millimeter. Uh, in the back, all my half inch or yeah, half inch 12 point metric sockets that are deep wells. Uh, use those uh, for Jeep head bolts and any kind of head bolts that have. 12 points. Um, half inch drive deep ball impacts, um, 10 millimeter to 24 millimeter. If I can get it off there. Um, this set of deep ball impacts actually is one big set that my axle nut sockets actually came in too. I got it from Cornwall for like 700 bucks. Maybe 400, I don't know. Uh, this is a special tool for um, certain GM trucks. I don't know if it's just rust or how they made it or what happened, but uh, my three inch drive wouldn't fit. It was too small and my quarter inch was too big. So I think this is like 5 16 square stock. I welded into a 3 8 socket. Um, a spark socket with the rubber in it three inch drive uh this is the napa brand all oh, these back here napa brand too the swivels back there um three inch drive swivels napa brand 19 down to 10 millimeter um shallows uh just little u-joint 
adapter for your ratchet. Impact swivel, 3 8 drive uh, snap-on, 3 8 drive uh, semi-deep sockets, goes from 19 millimeter down to 8 millimeter. Uh, miscellaneous bits, snap-on sockets, uh, metric shallows, 6 point from 8 millimeter to 19, so these semi-deeps. These are all my quarter-inch deep ball sockets that are 6 point. This side's standard or metric, 1 or 2. Get the damn thing to let go. Yeah, so this side over here is metric. This side over here is standard. Um, more eight point, or um, sorry, uh, e torques. Um, yeah, uh, it goes from E24 down to, I believe, what is it, E4. So those are snap on as well. Um, there are various drives from quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch. Uh, Matco set of the regular impact torques. Uh, Matco set of the impact e torques. Uh, snap on shallows. Uh, metrics, six points. Snap on semi deep metrics, they six point. Um, three eighths extensions. I'm missing the one inch. Uh, these guys are lifesavers too, little chrome um, swivel sockets that are a quarter inch. They go from five and a half up to 15. Um, torque sticks, vent sawball, sawzall blade. Um, torque sticks, 65, 80, 100, 110, 140. Um, tire pressure gauge, another one of those little plugs. Uh, trim tool, snap on. These are actually really good for doing uh, Dodge Ram airbags with the clips in them. Um, those are a pain, these will actually get them right out. Uh, set of Matco tools, the uh, oil filter socket set. Uh, yeah, that's a reminder. Uh, snap on tape measure, 12 foot, Sharpie, paint marker. Um, got a long quarter inch ratchet. This is a little stubby, like a 3 8 ratchet and a quarter inch, 3 8 head and a quarter inch ratchet body. Um, little quarter inch 3 8 adapter. The regular length um, 3 8 ratchet. Long 3 8 ratchet. This is my first snap on ratchet I ever got. Um, half inch to 3 8 reducer. Tire chuck. Um, quarter inch uh, snap on ratchet with a flex head. Normal sized uh, snap on half inch drive ratchet. Snap on 3 8 drive ratchet, and pen and pocket screwdriver. Uh, over here, we've got all the flathead screwdrivers, um, along with a stubby flathead and a stubby Phillips. Those are all snap on. Um, both my magnets, a bigger one, uh, made by this one's Blue Point. This one over here, I believe, as well. So, no, that's a blue point, too. Uh, this is the other snap on pry bar. I'm missing one of them. I don't know what happened to it. Probably got left in a car. Um, just Craftsman screwdriver. This is snap ons under hood light. Uh, there's the bracket for it that goes across the hood. Rechargeable, uh, very bright. It's got two settings high and low. Um, Over here, we've got Matco ratchet wrenches, 19 millimeter down to eight millimeter. Uh, the stubby ratchet wrenches, 19 down to eight. Uh, wishbone, I don't really use that that much, but every once in a while I do. Adjustable wrenches, uh, the full set from Snap-on. Uh, these here are the Craftsman, the metric double box end wrenches. Uh, goes from eight millimeter up 
to I think 23 millimeter. So, and here is the mix of metric wrenches. They start off with Craftsman, start off at six millimeter, go to eight millimeter, and then snap on wrenches from 10 millimeter up to 19. And then 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 are all Craftsman. Here's uh, Craftsman line wrenches. There's metric and standard in there. Um, more of the more common use sizes. Um, so. And then here's my pliers drawer. In the back, I've got a set of vice grips, actually made by Irwin vice grips. Um, over here is all my wire brushes, large wire brush. And then a bunch of different pliers. There's actually like three sets of pliers here. Um, but so you got the short set. Um, my regular dikes I'm missing. The ones that would normally be at the red handle I'm missing. Which pisses me off. I love that set of dikes. Uh, so you have the regular size set. Dykes nail nose and the slip joint and channel locks. And then you got the long set, which is these in the orange handle here, uh, Dykes needle nose and slip joint, uh, brake, um, channel locks, full set of oil filter straps. Uh, this is your normal uh, oil filter pliers. Uh, this is the snap ring pliers that was not in that little tray for that set. I keep it over here because I use it most. My long 36 inch snap on half inch drive ratchet. Uh, set of Cornwell Torx bits uh, and Allens, uh, metric and standard uh, for the Allens, and you have the basically your Torx with a hole in the middle of it, kind of like the six port security Torx, and then your regular Torx here. Uh, the regular Torx, I'm missing these two. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, this is the rest of my air tools that aren't in the power drawer. So Ingersoll ran half inch drive ratchet, the snap on 3H drive electric ratchet, Matco die grinder. Um, I bought used and it's still going like a champ. Uh, snap on MG325 uh, 3H ratchet or 3H impact. Um, I will never buy the half inch drive impact from snap on garbage. Um, snap on 3H drive electric impact. And the uh, 3050 snap on air hammer. Oh, and then all my different air hammer bits and punches and chisels and sawzall blades and the other. This is that lug nut um, adapter I was telling you about for the die grinder. Uh, hammers. Snap on double ball peen. Um, that is a Pittsburgh four pound sledge, a Pittsburgh brass hammer, snap on. Uh, I have the full set of snap on ball peens. Um, at least they came in a set of four. I don't think it's the full big set, but you know, the set that came in. Uh, 40 ounce, I think it's 40 ounce dead blow, and then 20 ounce dead blow, something like that. Uh, the two smaller snap-on ball peens, a two-ounce uh, sledgehammer, um, three-eighths inch-pounds and foot-pounds torque wrench, uh, batteries for my DeWalt stuff, DeWalt drill bits and DeWalt uh, miscellaneous, just like screwdriver bits and whatnot, a impact driver that I found in a car that I was working on, um, Craftsman, just miscellaneous bits, uh, some drill bits in there, Milwaukee uh, miscellaneous bits, and then Mac tools, they have all the different adapters for like your screwdrivers and all that stuff. So basically miscellaneous bits, and it also has uh, drill bits in it. So, and then on the very bottom, I've got airlift, vacuum, uh, cooling, cooling system bleeder. Uh, battery service set from Cornwell. This is the Matco um, big trim tool set that you can buy. Over here is the manual, I guess, 
uh, old timers fan clutch tools. They got the big, I think it's like the 36 and the 40 millimeter wrenches with the ratchet holes on them. And then of course they have the spanner, the spanner wrench, uh, spill free funnel. Um, this is part of that battery service set. Uh, little bungees, more little bungees. Snap on coolant pressure tester. Um, the it's really AST, but rebadged from Matco Tools. Uh, full system disconnect uh, for training lines and different things of that nature. These are the oxygen sensor socket set uh, and oil pressure sensor socket set from Matco, a Silver Eagle brand. Uh, compression tester for chrome freight and the disc brake belt. Disc brake, yeah, you can read the sign. I can't talk about it. But, and then I also have this cart over here just for, you know, setting parts on, moving around the shop, things of that nature. So, uh, yep. There's everything I have so far. Um, again, just got that box today. Um, it is the Epic uh, Triple Bank. Um, I don't have the actual part number on me, but it's got the power drawer on it. Again, Triple Bank Epic box, 84 inch, um, with the bed liner uh, top, bed liner power top. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's anything you see that I can change.